Hey, what's going on Weavers? Tim here again, and in this video we will be learning three ways to finish a monkey's fist keychain. These three methods include the snake knot, cobra knot, and four strand braid with crown knots. You can modify and change these methods as you see fit, so feel free to get creative with these guidelines. That being said, let's get into it. First off, I know I've taught the monkey's fist many times before, but here is a super condensed version of how to tie one full tutorial will be linked in the description. So I always start with three vertical passes going away from me around the marble. Then I go perpendicular to those passes and do my three passes around the middle. After that, before my fingers turn blue, I remove them from the sets of passes. And from there, I'll do my last set of three passes vertically going through those two openings above and below the marble. From there, I'll cinch up my monkey's fist, and if you're ever confused about this process, feel free to check out my video on how to tighten a monkey's fist, linked in the cards. So now that we have our monkey's fist tied, our first method of finishing the keychain is with the snake knots. I'm going to start off by passing the right side strand through the side of the keyring facing me, and the other side is going through the keyring from the back towards me. From there, I'm going to take the right side strand, wrap it around the three strands going in front and around the back. Next, I'll take the left side strand and wrap it around the back, coming back to the front, and then go through that bend we created with the opposite strand. Then just cinch up that first snake knot. I'm going to show you one more time for clarity as this second knot will be much easier to see. Again with the right side strand wrap that in front and then behind and around the other three strands. Then back to the opposite strand, take that strand, go around the back to the front and through the bend, then cinch up your knot. So you can just tie a few snake knots or you can continue tying them down the core strands so the key chain has a more solid feel instead of two flexible strands leading to the monkey's fist. Once I get down to the end, I'll just snip off the excess strands, melt them with my lighter, and press down on the ends with my knotter's tool. Next up, we're going with the good old cobra knots. This time, I'm going to pass both terminal ends through the same side of the key ring. That's the side facing me. From there, with one strand on each side, I'm going to place the right side strand over the core left side strand goes on top of the right, goes behind the core and through the crook on the right. So pull that tight and we have our first cobra knot. Then with the same lead strand, now it's on the left, we do the same process going over the core and then the opposite strand goes on top and then behind the core and out the crook. Usually after the second cobra knot for these uh, key ring knots, you can pull down and tighten those first two uh, cobra knots. Like the snake knots, I'm going to continue the cobra knots going down my core strands until I reach the monkey's fist at the end. Once again, you don't have to go all the way to the monkey's fist. You can just tie a few if you want and have the keychain be more flexible. And once again, when I'm done, just trim the excess cords. Lastly, for our third method, which is a bit fancier, I'm going to start off by tying a single snake knot. I'm going to take the right side strand and do a clockwise loop around the opposite strand. Then take the opposite strand, bring it around to the right side, and go through that first loop, and I'm going to cinch up the snake knot. Next, I've got another piece of paracord, and I'm going to lay the midpoint in between the snake knot strands. From there, I'm going to do a four strand braid by crossing the red strands over the green, and then I'm going to cross the green over the red. Continue this process until you've tied the desired length of braid. You'll know you're crossing the strands properly because if you cross them the wrong way, the strands won't hold together as you grip them. Thank you. 
Now, once I'm ready to attach my key ring, on the last knot, I'm going to cross these strands over the key ring like so. And then from there, I'm going to tie a cross knot with the remaining red strands to secure the split ring. And once that's cinched up, we're going to start tying the same cross knots going back the way we came. But I believe at this point they're going to be crown knots. I could be wrong. We start the knot by putting a bend in one strand, bending the next one over it, and so forth. And on the fourth strand, you bend it back through the first strand. cinch up and you've got your next knot. You're going to continue this process until you've tied the length you want and once it's done you just snip and singe the excess cords. Be careful when doing this as the strands can tend to come undone so don't snip the excess cord too short as it can slip back through the knot you just tied. Just be sure to hold everything in place while you do this. And there we have it, three different ways to finish a monkey's fist keychain. I hope you all have found these ideas useful. Let me know in the comments down below which method is your favorite. That being said, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters as usual. If you want access to exclusive tutorials as well as our Discord server, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the video cards as well as down below. You can join for as little as $3 a month. You can also support this channel by liking the video and commenting. Also, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed what I did in this video, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.